قال الله تعالى في كتابه المجيد بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله لا إله إلا هو وعلى الله فليتوكل المؤمنون سرق الله مولانا العظيم الحمد لله today the khutbah will focus on tawakkul and putting one's trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and tawakkul is a very general aspect of our deen in putting our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from all angles whether it be fear whether it be grief whether it be sorrow, whether it be when we are in a state of happiness and joy, one is supposed to put one's trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And sometimes it is easy for us to say that we trust, we put our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is easy for us to say that we trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with our life matters, with our life, with our affairs, with our sustenance. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one that can provide sustenance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one that can control our life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one that can give happiness and joy. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one that can give sorrow. وَأَنَّهُ هُوَ أَضْحَكَ وَأَبَكَ Allah tells us in Surah Al-Najm وَأَنَّهُ هُوَ أَضْحَكَ وَأَبَكَ And He is the one that causes a human being to be joyous and to laugh and he is the one that gives sorrow and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that causes to cry and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that gives life and takes life Allah is in control of our life in the hadith Qudsi narrated by Sayyidina Ka'ab al-Ahbar Radiallahu ta'ala anhu, very well known Sahabi, Sayyidina Kaab radiallahu ta'ala anhu, was from the Jews before the advent of prophethood, and he accepted Islam at the hands of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Sayyidina Kaab al-Abbah radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrates this particular hadith Qudsi, which is a lengthy hadith also found in the books of Imam al-Tirmidhi, uh, Jami al-Tirmidhi, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the hadith Qudsi is in the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala transmitted by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya bana Adam, la takhafanna min thi sultan ma dama sultani baqiya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses the offspring of Adam alayhi salatu wa salam and says, la takhafanna min thi sultan ma dama sultani baqiya. فَإِنَّ سُلْطَانِي لَا يَنْفَدُ أَبَدًا Do not fear anyone who has authority or sovereign or power as long as the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remains. وَسُلْطَانِي لَا يَنْفَدُ أَبَدًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. And my authority, the sovereignty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not come to an end. Sometimes we fear different things, we have different phobias. We are in a state of fear and constantly between fear and hope. But Allah reminds us that type of fear that only Allah is worthy of. In Surah Al-Baqarah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and fear only me, fear Allah alone. Be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Taqwa based on fear and hope and understanding and love. To be fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fear that one will disappoint Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fear that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, will be dissatisfied with us. Fear that we will not attain the satisfaction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fear that we will not attain the jannah. Fear that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be angry with us. That is the ultimate fear. That fear is better and greater than all the phobias that we may have in this world. And Allah reminds us, And have fear of me alone. Just as we recite in Surah Al-Fadiha, You alone do we worship Allah, and you alone do we beseech for help. 
Allah reminds us by using the same pattern of terminology in the Quran. وَإِيَّايَ farhabun, And fear me alone. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us further on in Surah Al-Baqarah in another ayah or in the next ayah. وَإِيَّايَ fattakun, And be conscious of Allah alone. What is taqwa? Taqwa can be sometimes loosely translated as fear. But it is much more than that. Taqwa is to be in a state of consciousness. To put our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To love Allah. To be there for his creation subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah says further in this hadith Qudsi. Ya bana Adam, la taqsha min diqir rizq ma damat khaza'ini mal ana. O son of Adam, do not fear that your sustenance will come to an end, that you will run out of provision as long as my storehouses are full. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and my storehouses do not become empty. Put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will provide for you from avenues that you never thought possible. وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ حَسْبُهُ وَمَنْ يَرْزُقُهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبُ And Allah will provide for you from avenues which you never thought possible. وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ حَسْبُهُ And for those who put their tawakkul, their trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah is sufficient. Allah alone is sufficient for that person. إِنَّ اللَّهَ بَالِغُ أَمْرِ قَدْ جَعَلَ اللَّهُ لِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدَرًا Allah is the one that will bring everything to a culmination. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that will bring everything to its culmination, that will fulfill your wishes and your desires. And Allah alone can do that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone can fill our wishes, our desires, our hopes, our aspirations. We may have aspirations to achieve something in life. We may have aspirations for, to... Take, undertake a certain career path and so forth. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one that can make it possible. Put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you find that you will find Allah with you wherever you may be. Ihfadidlaha yahfadka. Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu was told by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam protect Allah by protecting the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah will protect you. Protect the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What Allah has made obligatory, protect the obligations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Protect what Allah has forbidden and Allah will protect you. Ihfadidlaha tajidhu tujahak. Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu was told by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Protect the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you will find Allah in front of you, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning you will find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with, with you. You will be able to experience the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is omnipresent, subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is always there. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says further, Ya bana Adam, la ta'nas bi ghayri wa ana lak. O son of Adam, do not find comfort in others other than me. For I am for you. لا تأنس بغيري وأنا لك. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a guarantee from Allah azza wa jal. From our creator subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not find comfort in others other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because I am for you. وأنا لك says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What greater guarantee can we want other than from the creator of the heavens and the earth. From the creator of humanity. He guarantees us. That he will be for us, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says further, فَإِن طَلَبْتَنِي وَجَدْتَنِي If you seek me, you will find me. Look for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the early hours of the morning, during the late hours of the night when everybody is sleeping. Look for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you are alone, when you are in the privacy of your own company and your own thoughts and your own intentions and so forth. Then seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَإِن طَلَبْتَنِي وَجَدْتَنِي If you seek me, you will find me. And that is why Allah says in another hadith, Qudsi, كُنْتُ كَنْزًا مَخْفِيًّا فَأَرَدْتُ أَنْ أُعْرَفْ فَخَلَقْتُ الْخَلْقِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, 
I was a hidden treasure and I wanted to be known and recognized and then I created the creation. Allah is there for us to know him subhanahu wa ta'ala, for us to recognize him subhanahu wa ta'ala, for us to understand him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not someone who wants to be angry with us. Allah does not want to be angry with his creation subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guarantees us وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ حَسْبُهُ إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَ الَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْا وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ مُحْسِنُونَ That Allah is with those who have taqwa and those who practice ihsan, those who practice ihsan and observe his presence subhanahu wa ta'ala in everything that they do. <coughs> and Allah says further, وَإِنْ أَنَسْتَ بِغَيْرِي فَاتَّكَ وَفَاتَكَ الْخَيْرُ كُلُّهُ If you find comfort in other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will become so tired, you will run out of everything, and all good will, will bust you. You will not find the good in that. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says further, Ya Bana Adam, خَلَقْتُكَ لِعِبَادَتِي فَلَا تَلْعَبْ خَلَقْتُكَ لِعِبَادَتِي فَلَا تَلْعَبْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O oh son of Adam, I created you to worship me, so do not play. Do not be in a state of amusement. I created you to worship me, so do not play, do not be in a state of amusement and vain play. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says further, Ya bana Adam, I have divided your sustenance, so do not tire yourself out. Do not become overtired and overfatigued in seeking your sustenance because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guaranteed sustenance for everybody and provision for everyone. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says further in this hadith, Qudsi, وَفِي أَكْثَرْ مِنْهُ فَلَا تَطْمَعْ Do not desire or be in a state of greed that you keep on wanting more. Sometimes we find that we are in a state of greed and we keep on wanting more from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Allah will always provide for us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will always provide as long as we put our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may seem to deprive us because He is testing us subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do we love our provision, our money, our wealth? Do we love what Allah has given us more than we love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Or do we love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more than anything else? Do we truly love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam more than anything else, more than anyone else? And that is why Allah tells us in the Quran, in Surah Tawbah, إِنَّ اللَّهَ اشْتَرَى مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ أَنفُسَهُمْ وَأَمْوَالَهُمْ بِأَنَّ لَهُمُ الْجَنَّةِ Allah has purchased from the believers their wealth and their souls and in return they will get the Jannah. They will be guaranteed Allah has made a purchase, a business profit with the believers that they have sold themselves and their wealth to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the return, they will be guaranteed the Jannah. It is a guaranteed trade and profit. And in that way, it is tijara rabihat. It is a business that will be profitable for each and every believer. And that is why Allah tells us further in this hadith, Qudsi, وَمِنْ أَقَلْ مِنْهُ فَلَا تَجْزَعْ do not be worried about that you will receive less than what Allah has ordained for you, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says further, فَإِنْ أَنْتَ رَضِيتَ بِمَا قَسَمْتُهُ لَكْ أَرَحْتُ قَلْبَكَ وَبَدَنَكْ فَإِنْ أَنْتَ رَضِيتَ بِمَا قَسَمْتُهُ لَكْ أَرَحْتُ قَلْبَكَ وَبَدَنَكْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, if you are pleased with what I have given you and distributed as far as my provision for you is concerned, if you are pleased and satisfied with that, I will make you feel comfortable in your heart and your body. Your heart will be comfortable and you will not tire yourself out. <clears throat> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and you are praiseworthy in front of me. Who doesn't want to be praiseworthy in front of Allah Azza wa Jal? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us further, وَإِن لَمْ تَرْضَ بِمَا قَصَمْتُهُ لَكْ فَوَعِزَّتِي وَجَلَالِي لَأُسَلِّطَنَّ عَلَيْكَ الدُّنْيَا تَرْكُضُ فِيهَا رَقْضَ الْوَخُوشِ فِي الْبَرْ 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if you are dissatisfied or displeased with what I have given you, says subhanahu wa ta'ala, then I swear by my might and my honor, for wa izzati wa jalali, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, by my might and my honor, I will make you run after the dunya like an animal runs after its prey. We want to be pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be pleased with us. But what trust we put in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ حَسْبُ Allah guarantees that and whoever puts his trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be given everything Allah is sufficient for that person. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says further, يَا بَنَا آدَمْ لَا تُطَالِبَنْ لَا تُطَالِبْنِي بِرِزْكِ غَدٍ كَمَا لَا أُطَالِكَ بِأُطَالِبُكَ بِعَمَلِ غَدْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O son of Adam, do not seek the sustenance from me for tomorrow, just as I don't seek your deeds for tomorrow. Do not ask me for your sustenance for the next day, just as I don't ask you for your deeds tomorrow. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us, فَإِنِّي لَمْ أَنْسَ مَنْ عَصَانِي For indeed, I have not forgotten those who have disobeyed me. فَكَيْفَ مَنْ أَطَاعَنِي وَأَنَا عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ وَبِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ مُحِيطٍ I have not forgotten those who have disobeyed me. So what about those who remember me and obey me? And I have power over all things. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala encompasses everything. And that is why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in the hadith Qudsi Anna rajulan sa'ala al-nabiyya sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam Mustafhiman ayyu al-fi'alayn yuwafiqu al-tawakkul A man asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam hadith of Sayyidina Amr bin Umayyah radiallahu ta'ala anhu that a man went to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and asked him the question Ayyu al-fi'alayn yuwafiqu al-tawakkul which of the two deeds concurs with tawakkul? What does it mean to put our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? هَلْ هُوَ رَبْطُ النَّاقَةِ فِي مَكَانِ أَوْ تَرْكُهَا عَلَىٰ حَالِهَا ثُمَّ السَّعِي وَالذَّهَابِ لِأَحْوَالِ He asked Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Is tawakkul to tie your camel and to go on and to leave it there tied up? Or is it to leave the camel and to do as it pleases? and to go on with your duties. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, اِعْقِلْهَا وَتَوَكَّلْ Tie your camel and put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do what you have to do for your sustenance and provision, but at the same time put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do what you have to do for your life and aspire, have aspiration to achieve the best in this life as long as you are obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But at the same time, put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Put your trust in Allah. Realize and understand that everything only happens with the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is why Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in the hadith, لَوْ أَنَّكُمْ تَوَكَّلْتُمْ عَلَى اللَّهِ حَقَّ تَوَكُّلِهِ لَرَزَقَكُمْ كَمَا تَرْزُقُ الطَّيْرِ تَغْدُوا خِمَاصًا وَتَرُوحُ بِطَانًا If only we put our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the way that Allah is worthy of, Allah will provide for us like he provides for the birds. It leaves the nest with an empty belly and it returns with a belly that is satisfied. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to put our trust in Allah azza wa jal. Wa ma alayna illa al-balaq wa akhiru da'wana. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.